Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, guys, we are back on the patron server, and we are headed out into the ocean because we need a few more water tames here. Currently, all we have is a manta and a tuso that we did raise up um, that somebody gifted us. But I do want to go ahead and tame a few more creatures um, on our own, basically. And so I have some options here today. We have a few different saddles on us. Um, Plessy saddle, Dunkley saddle, and a Basilo saddle. So I will take any of those three creatures that we find that is a relatively decent level. So I'm going to head off here into the ocean and start searching for one. Um, we are on the Manta, which should keep us out of most trouble. Um, we will have to be very careful, but luckily Mantas are pretty quick, um, which means they should be pretty good at evading most attacks. All right, at some point we may tame an angler as well, just for kicks. They don't really do much on mobile. Um, on PC, they have the ability to harvest silica pearls from the ocean floor at a very efficient rate, which is great, but uh, they don't currently have that ability on mobile, so we won't be, we won't really have much use for an anglerfish at this time. All right, hopefully we find something good here uh, pretty quickly. I'm really actually kind of hoping for a Dunkley because I have not seen too many Dunkleys um, that have been high level, and I definitely am curious to see just how much oil we can get when we have one tamed up. I really want to expand on what we have here in the underwater portion of the game, and Dunkleys are going to be a great option for that. They're very tanky, they have kind of natural armor, so they would be great for maybe trying to take on some of those um, bigger creatures like the Mosa. Um, definitely very good against, ooh, definitely very good against something like the, um, the Tuso. That's what I was trying to say. All right, let's go up here a little bit. The Plessy should have a height limit in the water here. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and see what level you are. If you're decent, no, it's level five. Uh, we're gonna keep moving. I'm not going to bother with a level five Plessy. Um, Plessies are very cool. I do like them and their platform saddles are obviously very, very nice, but definitely don't have a use for one that's level five. <laughs> It's quite low. I would prefer to get something at least mid-range in terms of levels. All right, still searching. Um, my biggest fear is that we'll run into a wild Tuso out here, which would be quite bad because that would that would kill us, and then I would lose all of these saddles, which I really hope doesn't happen. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get into shallow enough water that it can't grab us. That's the idea, anyway. <laughs> Uh, luckily, Tusos are pretty rare at this point. Uh, those are eels. I also would rather not run into eels. Okay, so obviously, definitely some issues possibly with um, bringing the manta out as maybe not the best tame for this job. An ichthy would be very, very good since they don't get aggro at all. Um, but I don't currently have an ichthy either, although I should... I should definitely look into getting one. They are a very good underwater taming mount just because they're very quick um, and you can pull out weapons on the back of them unlike with a manta and on top of that uh, creatures do ignore them which makes them extremely useful for that sort of thing. Okay I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick cut here guys. I will continue to search for a creature um, and bring you guys back when we find one that is worth taming. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, so we are back and um, apparently, I did lose some footage here, unfortunately. Apparently when you, I have friendly fire on on the server, I guess, which I did not realize um, because my manta got between myself and a carbonimus I was trying to uh, kill to feed it and my manta got killed um, because I have a lot of melee and a very good pike. So. Um, I did find this Dunkley Osteus, and I did knock him out with some Toxicant Arrows and a, um, a compound bow here, which I have on me. He did not attack me. He basically ran away, and this is our current map location. Unfortunately, none of that was caught on footage because um, I'm having some issues with the in-game recorder when it comes to 
underwater uh, underwater content, basically, in general. So this is our Dunkley. He is unconscious right now, and he will be taming up shortly. Um, he's a very good-looking Dunkley overall. He's like a very pretty black and blue color, as you can see here. Um, he's only level 40, but at this point I need something to get back to base safely because my Manta is dead, um, and I am currently just wearing flippers, so it would be a long swim back to base um, by the swamp if I didn't have something to ride on. So we are taming up this Dunkley. He is very, very good looking, um, even though he's only level 40. He's mostly going to be used to gather oil, and in that vein, he does have pretty low melee, only 115%. But, um, you know, I think that's going to be okay. I think he'll still work out fine in the long run. Um, he's just kind of a starter mount, and I was desperate for something to ride back. It was either this or an anglerfish, which I killed a couple up there, as you can see by the item bags. <sighs> yeah. So, very unfortunate that we lost the footage of the actual knockout, but we are taming him up, and we will have um, an opportunity here to go and collect some oil and really give this guy a test drive. He looks pretty creepy when you look at just his face, but uh, from back here he looks pretty cool. I like that. I really love that blue color. Um, I think it looks amazing. I'm, like, very happy with that. All right. You're just about tamed up here. Hopefully we have, yep, perfect taming effectiveness because we did use a soothing bomb. Almost. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so level 59. Not great. Not bad. Definitely could be worse. I am overall very happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, let's go ahead and put like a speed thing on him. Oh my gosh, that looks ridiculous. Maybe just a regular collar? It all looks silly. What about the bow tie? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, okay, so he looks silly basically no matter what you put on him. Um, yeah, but I mostly want speed, so we're going to put the bandana on him for now. We'll see how this goes. It's probably going to look very, very silly. And it does, in fact, look very, very silly. But, you know, that's okay. <laughs> um, Alright, so I think I already put the saddle on him. I did. All right, and I'm getting a little framey, so I'm going to bring you guys back in a second after I relog here. Okay, so we are all set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop on here. Um, interesting. I wonder why you even need a saddle. I don't even see it. Is the saddle, like, does it even really show up? I don't know that the saddle actually shows on the Dunkley, which is kind of interesting that you even would need one then. Either that or it's completely covered by the collar. Uh, definitely very strange, because we're kind of hanging on to this giant bandana as we're riding it. Um, but it definitely works for me. Now, Dunkleys don't have great stamina because they are pretty tanky and overall more meant for harvesting up lots of oil than anything else. Um, I am going to just increase his melee because I do want him mostly for harvesting up oil. So I'm okay if we're a little bit more start and stop um, in the meantime. And we're actually going to go ahead and test out his oil harvesting abilities by going after a few of these nodes that we're seeing here. Oh, nice. Okay, so that is a lot of oil that you get in one bite. Um, I love that. That is really, really good. Now, he is unfortunately super slow and is probably, <laughs> is probably glacially slow without the bandana on because the bandana does give a 30% um, movement speed boost. So I don't even want to know how slow he is otherwise. Is this a collision issue? Looks like. All right, well, we'll try that one over there when we can move again. Stamina. Oh, my goodness. The stamina is going to be painful. There we go. Oh, we have more levels. Okay. That works. I might actually put something into stamina just because it's so, so bad and it drains so quickly. Um, there we go. Beautiful. So much oil, though. I'm never going to have to worry about oil or gasoline again, um, which would be nice because I have been making... I do make quite a few oil runs on just um, a Quetzal 
or a really good RG that we have around. So it would be nice to be able to just grab a bunch of oil nodes in the area near the Swamp Castle and not have to worry too much about it because that's um, it's actually much closer to my bases than trying to go all the way over to the oil nodes that are up north. Oh my gosh, yeah, that stamina. How much does it go up by? Not much. It might be enough. It might be enough. I'm going to go ahead and drop all the stone since that is going to slow us down a little bit. Man. They do look a little funky too. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how good their swimming animation actually is. Um, yeah. Basically, mobile underwater content is a little bit rough in all respects. Uh, definitely prone to crashes and framiness for me. Especially, as you can see there, it's getting a little bit rough again. Um, it's just kind of really hard on your device to be underwater. And so it, it doesn't surprise me that it's uh, difficult to tame underwater creatures and to have them be fully functional and actually, you know, look good and not have frame issues. It's, um, it's not something I've had that much luck with lately, so... Hopefully, hopefully those issues improve soon. Um, and in the meantime, we'll just keep enjoying this guy as is, as much as we can. Okay, so we have another level up. Let's go ahead and do that. More melee. Um, I would like to put it into stamina, but really what I need from this guy is definitely the oil harvesting ability. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, and I'm going to try to stay near the top of the water column just so that we don't aggro any um, Mosas or other potential things that could be in the area that could be bad. Oof. That render. <laughs> oh, that's painful. Okay, let's not look. Let's just not look at it. We'll go down here. Go straight for this oil node. Um, yeah, my goal is going to be to get a bit of oil all the way back to base here since that is really what these guys are for. They're not combat mounts. Um, they do have some armor plating, so they might be a good Tuso taming companion. Might be. Tusos do a lot of damage, though, so... Uh, I, I don't know that I would recommend it over something like a really leveled imprinted turtle, but if you had a high enough level Dunkley, um, it definitely could do the job. And I think Tusos do grab them, so I think you'd be okay on that score. Oh, man. We are just getting all of the oil. It's amazing. All right. <laughs> hey, that's kind of a perfect amount of oil. 1k oil, exactly. That shocks me a little. I'm not sure that that's real, but um, you know what? I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to take it. What is that? Is that just like a really pale angler? It might be. Very well could be. Look at all the little fish, too. Quite a few fish out here. I wonder how much actual damage we do. I wonder if I can see it. Alright, can we... Alright, so we do hit fish fine. Um, if I find a Megalodon, I may get into a fight with a Megalodon. I'm not sure I want to fight too much else on this guy. Um, he has a decent amount of health, but I don't trust it necessarily around too much else. So, probably won't be taking him into any really dangerous dogfights. Um, he's definitely not fast enough to get away or have enough stamina to get away if we get into something super sketchy. So probably will avoid that particular circumstance. Um, I really should tame an Ichthy. I think an Ichthy would be super useful. We might do that at some point. That scared me. That Coelacanth did. I thought that was like a giant fish coming my way. Oh, a Spino. Lovely. We're not going to touch that. <laughs> Spino would be bad at this point. Okay, I am just now realizing just how long this is going to take to get back to base, and it is legitimately painful. Oh my goodness. Dunkleys are very slow, guys, just so you know. Um, if you do tame one, try to tame one that's already close to your water pen, regardless of level, because, I mean, a high level is nice, but it's not going to do that much better in terms of oil harvesting. Um... And really, there's no reason to have a high-level Dunkley. Uh, you just need it for the oil. It's much better to get one that's close by and not have to deal with, like, 
a low stamina, low speed situation and trying to get halfway around the map, <laughs> which uh, definitely is going to be probably the thing I don't like the most about this. Can I actually pull out my map and see where I am? Yeah, luckily we're not too, too far away. So we'll just keep on trucking and hopefully we get there pretty quickly. Oh, there are Mega Piranhas. How much damage do we do? Not very much. It's enough, but it's not very much for sure. And luckily we have a pretty good AoE here. That's always the biggest issue with underwater creatures is that the AoE is not great and so it's actually very difficult to hit things that come at you from the side, underneath, or behind, um, which is pretty common underwater, so definitely having a problem with these Mega Piranha here. There's one, maybe? There's one. Can I hit him? can't even see him. He's like right underneath me. There we go. All done. Perfect. Okay. So we were able to get that one. Definitely a slow process though. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly make my way back towards base here. Oh goodness. I just hope we don't run into any eels. That would be the worst. Um, eels definitely terrify me. You know, I can't do it. I'm going to put a little bit into stamina. 500 stamina, I think, just enough to kind of get us going will make me a little bit happier so we can go a little bit more with each stretch here. Oh my goodness, the framiness underwater is terrible. It's like super, super bad. Okay. <laughs> I'll bring you guys back in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and try relogging again um, and see if that hopefully improves the situation here. So I'll bring you guys back in just a second. Okay guys, so we're back and we're going to keep on cruising back towards base here. Oh my goodness, the, I have to say, the oceans on Ark, um, I, I definitely enjoy the underwater content. I think it's very interesting. I think there's some really cool stuff here. Um, definitely a lot of potential in terms of what you could do with it. Oh good, some sharks to fight. Um, the problem being is that it is so hard on your device to be underwater at this time like it just doesn't it doesn't work very well and so I would be very very cautious this is not good I would be very cautious about getting um, getting into underwater content when there's really no need to and the game just crashes a lot like it definitely has serious performance issues even on a very good highly optimized device like mine is um, the iPhone 8 Plus, in case you were wondering. Um, yeah, it still it still really struggles with this game, and this is an empty server with a great connection here. So just be cautious, guys, and be aware that it may not be the thing you want to do here. Um, if you want to save your phone some stress, um, maybe don't go into the oceans, uh, especially since there's no underwater caves. There's currently really no need to be in an underwater realm here. All right. Finally, and we're framey. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna keep on going. Unfortunately, stuff does aggro on the Dunkley. Another reason to tame one close to home, or really just not take it far away from home. Um, yeah, and I'm definitely worried about crashing here in the last few minutes of the episode. Let's try to avoid the sharks if we can. And we're out of stamina. Gotta wait for that to come back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I do think I'm actually just going to end it off there. Hi, Ichthy. I didn't even realize that was an Ichthy. Um, yeah, I do think I'm going to end it off there, guys. It was a super, super fun episode for me, just trying to tame the Dunkley and uh, looking at all the Ichthys that are apparently trying to be my friend here and, like, swim into my Dunkley. Um, it's pretty great. So yeah, had a lot of fun taming this guy. He's definitely really cool looking and we are getting all of the oil I could ever need. So very, very useful creature to have once I get him back to the actual base and um, don't take him too far, I think, from my water pen because it is kind of a pain. So yeah, guys, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. 
And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Links to social media are in the video description down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.